One of the things I did, uh, I didn't play out for quite a while when my kids were little, for obvious reasons. I mean, not super obvious, but uh, I had this, the, la the last gig I remember doing before I stopped playing for about six years was I had a residency at Flipnotics, which I really miss. I don't know if anybody else does, but um, it was a pretty great place, and I'd always wanted to play there, and so I got this residency, but um, I would go there every week, and there'd be like three people, and eventually I was like, this is kind of dumb. Like, I could be home with three people. I mean, I'd be one of them, but still. That would be okay, too. And I could play whatever I wanted, so I quit. And when I started playing out again, it's because I went down to Strange Brew, which is also gone, so maybe it's me. But I went down there, and I saw, uh, I saw, who did I I saw Scrappy Judd Newcomb play. And then he invited me. He's like, oh, you know, we do this gospel brunch every Sunday morning. And I'm like... You know, I didn't learn a lot of gospel songs at Temple Isaiah in Lexington, Massachusetts growing up, but what the heck. So I went down and, um, you know, I knew a couple of like blues songs that were really gospel songs in disguise. So uh, I could kind of get away with it for a little while. But eventually I also realized I was pretty bad at that. So uh, that was the end of me and the gospel brunch. But later I wrote this song and I realized like, now this song I could play, even though it's an, it's an Old Testament song, but still, I understand that's part of the thing, right? So I think uh, if I ever go back, this will be my piece de resistance. Also, it's going to be a kick-ass song to play if I ever get a gig during Passover. Moses, don't you have some place to be? I'm no bull rush, baby, and yet even I can see no prospects, no loot, chariots in hot pursuit. Go down, Moses, no time to hang around. Management owes us. We can't find common ground, but you've heard that voice. Looks like you're the people's choice. There's such a lot in store for you, my friend. If you can climb that mountain and learn to count to ten. Go down, Moses. Can't you hear the desert calling? Somebody chose us. Now the dominoes are falling. Red Sea, hot damn. Do I have to draw a diagram? Remember what I'm telling you That golden heifer's gonna break your little heart in two Go down, Moses I know everyone's a critic But come on, this neighborhood It's a little anti-Semitic So get busy, can't you tell These waters won't part themselves 